This is the Halftime Show with Omar Adouri on Pulse 95. It sure is that time. The Halftime Show on Pulse 95 Radio live in the heart of Sharjah. You can catch it every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, 3 to 4 UAE time. We have the best guests in town, locally and internationally. And today, we will not disappoint because I can't wait to bring on this next guest. I've had my eye on him for a while now. And to be honest, I took my time and now he is here. Shiv Bassi is going to be live on the Halftime Show at 3 p.m. on Pulse 95 Radio. And if you do miss the show, don't worry. Catch all of our episodes on Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, or if you prefer a visual, head over to our YouTube channel, Pulse95 Radio, and he will be there on the show. You catch it anytime. Coming up on the show today, we're talking nutrition. We're talking well-being. We're talking all sorts of the good stuff that I always bring to the halftime show, but from a different voice. And that will be here across the hour. So if you have any questions, text us on 4215 or slide into my DMs at Omar Alder on Instagram, and we will deliver. You don't want to go anywhere, folks. But in the meantime, let me play you some flowers. AJ Tracy and one of my favorites, Georgia Smith. This is the halftime show with Omar Adori on Pulse 95. It sure is that time. Halftime show, Pulse 95 Radio, live in the half charger. I gave you the intro beforehand, but I'm telling you now, folks, this guy is awesome. And the fact that he's on the show today is unreal. First time on radio as well, which I am super happy about because I can't believe I'm the first to bring him on the radio. First of many. Shiv, welcome to the show, my man. Thank you so much, Omar. Good to be here. It's great to have you here. I listened to your story offline and I, to be honest, I was like, man, I need to get this guy on the show. You're doing some great things out here in the UAE. And uh, I just want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to be here. Now, yeah, great to be here, man. Thank you so much for the invite. My, my pleasure. Right, so l- let's dive into how you got here where it started how did you get into well-being in the first place because that was quite intriguing yes so um my background is i was born and raised in london yeah Uh, my folks originally were from the punjab northern india they moved to london in the 60s -hmm. they met in london in the 70s Mm -hmm. Uh, so i grew up in london Uh, my brother and i um, were the first in our family to have a kind of like a formal proper education we went to university in london and then uh, started working in banking. I worked in banking for 10 years at Goldman Sachs. Right. And then health and fitness has always played a really important part in our upbringing. Yeah. Um, and really just through that journey, uh-huh. um, I got to a point where I wanted to do something different uh, yeah. away from finance. Yeah. And I decided wellness was a really interesting space. Right. And uh, yeah, and then that was that basically. That was six or seven years ago and I launched a brand. Yeah. It takes a lot to s- step away from one world, which is hectic, nonstop, and to do something that you're actually passionate about. Yeah. And I sensed that in your voice when you were talking the last time I heard you speak. Um, what was going through your mind when you actually said, you know what, stability on one side, but passion on the other? Yeah, no, so t- 10 years at Goldman's is an amazing experience. Mm. You get, it's kind of like almost like a finishing school after university. Yeah. Uh, I worked in London, I worked in New York, and um, it was a great experience, but something was always in the back of my head that I wanted to have my own thing. I wanted to set up my own business and yeah. challenge myself in a very different way. Yeah. Uh, wellness, as I mentioned, has always been a really important part of our upbringing. So some of my earliest memories, like going with my mum to local Indian shops in West London when yeah. I was five or six years old, she'd drag me along. She'd go and buy these various herbs and spices off the walls and then take them home and make these amazing dishes. Yeah. And my mum's approach to health is really very much like nutrition focused. So even to this day, if you sneeze in my house, my mum will come over with a with a cup of milk with some turmeric in it or right. some fresh ginger with honey drizzled on it. Right. Uh, or she'll put a handful of kind of nuts in your hand and say, look, check these out. These are this is good for your eyes, this is good yeah. for your memory. So I think that's always been in the back of my mind. And then when it got to this point where I wanted to do something of my own, I felt, um, why not draw upon some of my own personal experiences, right. take that, combine it with modern thinking and, and create something quite unique and different. Yeah, well, when did you realize that this is this is the formula? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, you are living in, you know, the formula that a lot of people are searching for. Yeah, I think, you know, it's funny because I don't think you ever realize it because we all have our own upbringings and we all have our own environments in which we grow, grow up in. Mm. And there's influences from those environments that yeah. we have but because they're our personal experiences we don't really gauge we don't have um 
We can't compare them to anything else. Mm. So I just grew up thinking what, what I put into my body is going to affect how I feel, how I perform, how I think. Yeah. Um, it only got to the point later on in life that I realized actually not everyone thinks like this. Yeah. And people actually are neglecting their nutrition and therefore neglecting their health and their fitness. Mm. So I thought, okay, it was interesting because science was catching up with a lot of this ancient wisdom. Yeah. So I mentioned ginger, I mentioned honey, I turmeric. mentioned turmeric. Yeah. yeah. There's 20 independent studies done recently showing how turmeric can lessen the effects of COVID, for example. Yeah. Um, so there's a huge amount of modern science which is caught up with this ancient wisdom. Yeah. And that process made me think, actually, there's something here because a lot of products on the market at the time were very much, you know, containing ingredients you actually needed a science degree to even understand. And mm. I thought, why not just go to the past, bring it into the f present, and then create something which is very forward-thinking. Ah, brilliant. Oh, man. And then just one more thing before we go jump into the break. Your, your philosophy, your principles come by studies but also experiences how hard was it to strike the right balance and not rely too much on the data part but also rely on how you were brought up i, I think it's a bit of both but it's a process so you like i remember when i had the idea for the brand mm -hmm. for this brand innermost and i wanted to create a modern forward-thinking wellness brand yeah and i thought okay i want to create products which do take that do take a lot of principles from Asian medicine, from my past, things yeah. that I've grown up with. But at the same time, you have to look at the science. Mm. So I got a team of nutritionists together and I said, this is what I want to create. I'd like to look at the past, but ultimately the foundation is the science. Mm. It's no point in having something which is kind of like commonly used, but it, there's no there's no research or science to prevent to suggest that it actually can modulate your health and fitness in real tangible ways. Yeah. So it's kind of the meeting of those two areas. Yeah. And then during that meeting process, you find out, okay, this actually works. This is actually credible. This isn't credible. Yeah. And then from that process, you end up pro making products. So uh, that's how kind of I'll answer that. And he said it was his first time. Oh, I'm not <laughs> buying that one bit. Let's play you some uh, Beyonce, Pharrell Williams, Water, and we'll be right back with more of that good stuff on the Halftime Show on Pulse 95 Radio. This is the Halftime Show with Omar Adori on Pulse 94. Can't help but jam to this tune, you know. <laughs> 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 we are here and we are live in the half charge. If you're wondering whose voice is in the background, apart from your favorite host in charge, Omar Adori, it's Shiv Bassi. He is here on the show. Yeah, I'm not even lying. Yeah, that's exactly how I felt when I heard. And you know what? I can't wait to have another one on the show and that's great because here on Pulse 95 Radio we do bring the guests local and international best of the best here and Shiv is here with me and I'll tell you what the chats during the break not giving you form or anything are just as good as the live content Shiv uh, balance is super super key and one thing that a lot of us struggle including myself is striking the right balance where do you stand on that and how have you managed to get the right balance in your lifestyle yeah no well look, it's no surprise having a, your own business and being yeah. an entrepreneur is yeah. difficult yeah there are serious challenges mm -hmm. so i think finding balance um it's very difficult to have balance and maintain that consistently yeah. but there has to be times in your life where you have more balance and sometimes where you have to get stuck in and really grind and hustle and work super hard mm. so but it is important to find that that cadence yeah. between the two yeah so for myself personally you know i wake up each morning i go to the gym so i wake up at 5 30 6 a.m i hit the gym before the day starts yeah that's my way of just resetting and refreshing great choice of words i'll have um <laughs> i'll make sure that i eat healthy at yeah. least like my my breakfast and my lunch is healthy mm. um i'll try to get eight hours sleep that's uh, not always the case yeah. but i try to get a decent number of hours of sleep yeah and then balance, but balance within that, you know, sometimes yeah. it's good to go and have something which is maybe a little bit more decadent, which right. is uh, right. uh, maybe not quite as healthy, but making sure that you're not restrictive too much. Yeah. You're restricting yourself too much in your life, I think yeah. is important as well. L love that word cadence hmm. that you used. In terms of well-being, we, we don't hear that that often, hmm. but the importance of cadence, especially on the bumps you will face, yeah. is something that you're almost anticipating it. Yeah. Well, you know, I read a book, um, Ryan Halliday, it's called The Obstacle is the Way. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to boil it down, one of the kind of key takeaways I got from the book is having your own business yeah. is about a series of problems that will constantly occur 
and great businesses are able to overcome those issues over time. And if you can consistently get over these problems that are going to come up, mm -hmm. you'll have a good business, you'll have a successful business. Yeah. But praying for no problems is kind of not really what it's about when you're trying to set up and scale a business. Yeah. And, uh, and where does fuel link into that in striking the right balance, in anticipating the right cadence? Where does fuel come into all of that? And you're talking specifically about nutrition? Yes. Yeah, the right nutrition because, you know, like, you know, vitamins, minerals, different kinds of compounds which contain different uh, in active ingredients. All of these things can actually really modulate your health and fitness. And the research shows it. Mm. Um, vitamin D, great for your immune system. Cherries, anti-inflammatory. Berries contain antioxidants. Yeah. Protein, great for your hair, your skin, your nails, helping you your energy levels. So incorporating the right kinds of ingredients for your lifestyle is really important. Yeah, love that. And, and for, for yourself, especially now, like you're in it, in it, with Innermost, with all the, the different supplements there, which ones do you personally take from when you start that, that morning gym to when you're just about to go to bed? How does that work out for you in, it, in your it, lifestyle? It varies because, you know, we, we often think about our health, we work out, but we don't always work out for the same reasons. Sometimes it might be because we're trying to up our energy levels. Yeah. Other times it might be we're trying to cut some weight, mm. lose some weight. Sometimes it might be because we want to build some muscle. So it kind of depends, yeah? Um, and that's the beauty of our product range. What we've done is create solutions. I always say we haven't made products. What we've done has created solutions for people's needs. Mm. We're selling solutions. So we've got products that can help with your skin. We've got products that can help with your gut health. Um, help with uh, energy levels, mm. helping you relax, helping you achieve different fitness goals. Mm. So right now, for example, my current stack this week, I wake up in the morning, I'll have one of our products called the Strong Protein. Okay. It's a product that's been developed for recovery and repair. Mm -hmm. uh, after my workout, I'll have um, maybe some of the Glow Booster, which is our collagen super blend. Okay. Lunchtime, I'll have some of our Digest capsules. That's a probiotic, prebiotic. Yeah. It's also got ginger to reduce bloating. Yeah. Um, and then before I go to sleep, I might have um, might have another. Uh, I might actually halfway through the day, I might have our wellness blend, which is our mushroom coffee. Okay. Uh, Fifty percent coffee. I think you've tried that. Yes. Fifty percent uh, yes. arabica coffee and fifty percent a blend of different mushrooms, which have been used for thousands of years. Yeah. For all kinds of anti-inflammatory immune system supporting qualities. Yeah, the mushrooms is trending at the moment. Yeah, big time. You know, yeah. to be honest, with you, they've been trending for thousands of years. Back yeah. in the kind of ancient days like Chinese uh, emperors used to use mushrooms and they thought they had magical properties only people within the royal family could consume mushrooms yeah now there's been a huge amount of research shown that actually mushrooms hold lots of different qualities different mushrooms can support different health needs yeah so tremella mushrooms are great I know there's a beauty mushroom great for your skin mm. you've got um uh, cordyceps great for cardiovascular health yep. mataki shiitake great for immune system support mm. So it's so interesting to me that something which has been around for thousands of years yeah. and been touted yes. as a health product, now the science is catching up. It kind of goes back to my original point. The science is catching up with the ancient wisdom. Yes. And if we can now bottle that into our products and present it to people, that's really forward thinking. So it's amazing. Mm. And it's funny that when we say that to our families, they're like, yeah, yeah. been there. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> well, also, I think you found the title for the show. You said creating solutions. I love that. <laughs> there you go. We're going to play you a wicked track by Burner Boy. It's called Anybody. And I'll tell you what, anybody that is missing this out is missing out big time. This is the Halftime Show with Omar Adori on Pulse 95. Halftime show and he is now nodding his head to the tune. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know he likes my music. <laughs> Shiv Bassi is on the show. Shout out to Florin who's tuned in from the US. Shout out to Masoud who's tuned in from India. Shout out to my mom who's also tuned in and saying what a nice show it is so far. And everyone else that is sending me messages, I promise I will try and get through them across the hour. Shiv, education is massive on the halftime show. And you have obviously your own way of, of mixing education, well-being, wellness, but the way you got into it was pretty interesting as well. Tell me more about that. Uh, specifically about education yeah. and why that's important. Look, so look, everyone's got their own personal story. My story is this. My mum, uh, she was born in Punjab. Yeah. Uh, two weeks after she was born, my grandfather passed away. Right. So they went from a situation where they had actually quite a comfortable lifestyle mm -hmm. to really struggling to make ends meet. Um, my mum's two older brothers, when they turned 15, yeah. they went to Singapore to find, you know, search for a better life and to make some money, send it back for the family and support them. Yeah. They did that. Um, and one of the things that my uncles said to my gran was, you've got to make sure that my mum 
gets an education mm -hmm. and we're going to pay for her education you've got to put some money aside for that so uh, my mum was fortunate enough to go to boarding school in Punjab till the age of 18 okay. and then her brothers had moved to London so she came and joined them in London right. at the age of 18 right. and she met my dad uh, five, seven, eight years later okay. but one of the things that my brother and I benefited from when we were growing up as yeah. kids was that my mum was really attuned to this idea that education is what's going to take you and elevate you and take you to another level mm. that was the platform that she knew would take us and give us opportunities beyond those which you know migrant family to yes. london in the 70s would would give us yes so she was very present you know school evenings teachers evenings you know plays whatnot looking at our homework mm. and that fed through into my brother and i and i mentioned already my brother was the first bassy to go to university he went to ucl which is a very good university massive, in london massive yeah. and i went to imperial oh so okay, okay. you know that was also a decent uni yeah um and then we both started working in banking right um but you know i'm very very aware that if it wasn't for the sacrifices that my mum and dad made mm. growing up uh, when they were work us for us growing up when we were growing up and they were working and you know dad worked seven days a week and mm. really hustled to to provide yeah i wouldn't have the opportunity to go to university to get a good job to now set up a global wellness brand yeah. and actually to be sat here with you you know yeah no i appreciate that has that almost caused you to start having habits in in the way you've been brought up like the way you took what your mom had instilled in you in terms of building those habits and then you actually implementing it and building this global brand i think i think one of the things is work work ethic mm. uh my parents have got a very strong work ethic yeah and seeing that growing up and some of the sacrifices they made we didn't go on fancy holidays right you know money was saved to be put aside to for my brother's education and for my education to give us this platform yeah um and i take that work ethic um into my current you know yeah my current day -day. endeavors and my the brand that i'm building yeah and i've got a really strong work ethic and i think that makes a big difference yeah it's also um your your approach and the manner in which you do so and i think that's come down to knowing you a little bit offline as well with, with like the charity work that you've done that's opened yeah. your eyes to these kind of things yeah so i'm a big believer that business should be for good as well so mm. um i launched in about six years seven years ago in london yeah um and then uh the beginning of last year i decided it was time the business has grown we're stocked in lots of interesting retailers in london and globally and we'll talk about what we've been doing in the uae yeah but um what i wanted to do was give back mm. and i identified uh, there's a there's a charity called the action Patra Foundation, they're the largest charity provider of school meals to children in the world. Wow. So what I was able to do was tie up with those guys and do a mm. partnership whereby every purchase of Innermost products, we can donate and provide a school meal to a child in need. Very nice. And education is important to me. I know the uh, opportunities it's given to me. Mm -hmm. And I think by doing this, we're able to, you know, support and give children the opportunity to get an education. What they do with that education is up to them, but at least mm -hmm. we can give them a platform. So far, we've provided uh, over 25,000 meals, so it's something I'm really proud of. Mm, that's uh, awesome. As we continue to grow, we can make more, more changes. Yeah, that's brilliant. I think someone has reached out to me as well, saying now um, his brother went to UC, uh, UCL, and he said uh, his brother's name was Tunji Abiola. I don't know if you know him. Oh, no. Yeah, no he's like, yeah, he's like, my oh, brother does. Yeah, he's like, oh, it sounds like one of Tunji's boys. He went to UCL. <laughs> well, you see what? The whole world's listening right it's now. It's a small world. Yeah, it's a small yeah, world. Yeah, I love that. I love that. All right, let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back with more on The Only Place to Be at 3, The Halftime Show on Pulse95 Radio. This is The Halftime Show with Omar Adori on Pulse95. Halftime Show on Pulse95 Radio. I can't believe it's almost full time on the halftime show but that's just a good indication that we're having a good time here and that didn't come from me either so <laughs> <laughs> Shiv, um are we actually going to see you move out to the uae and possibly even come visit us in Sharjah more man yeah absolutely Look, it's been interesting my journey in the uae over the last 12 months has been pretty epic i think yeah um i remember just a year uh, just over a year ago i said to my brother look something's happening out in the uae mm. wellness out there is trending something's going on i kind of like fancy going out there and seeing what's what and he said to me great advice he said why don't you just go to to the UAE stay yeah. there for like a month yeah and just do a load of meetings and just figure it out and then you know you might come back and think that nah, it's not not it's not really for me or you might actually uncover some opportunities I came in April 2023 I didn't know anyone I was so busy in the run-up got to my hotel room I literally locked myself in for three days mm -hmm. I ordered some groceries and literally got on my laptop 
I sent, must have sent out a thousand messages mm. to hotels, spas, fitness studios, retailers, pretty much anyone I could find on LinkedIn and the web. Three mm. days, I didn't leave my room. And uh, then I breathed and uh, started getting emails back from people. Okay. And then I spent the next three weeks just doing lots of meetings. Right. And the consensus was, that the view that I got was, first of all, people wanted to work with us. And secondly, people are super passionate about wellness here. Yeah. And I don't think in the West, in the UK and places, people understand that. Right, right. The passion for wellness here is unbelievable. Mm. And, and when you, like, you take that chance, and that's what it is, it's a chance mm. to come out here and, and, and almost leave things behind to experiment and yeah. see where it's going to take you yeah. what, what's going through your mind when you're in the hotel for like three days yes well I'm just at the, at the time I'm just focused on the present let yeah. me just try to get as many conversations going as possible the chance was actually when I came back in June so I went back to London and I right. thought look there's something going on I came back in June worked on getting my residency found a warehouse got the products registered did all the admin stuff Yeah. and then I came back in October once all of the products had been registered and I went back to the same people that I met in April and I said I'm here now Yeah. my products are in Alcoo would you want to work with us? Yeah. And that was the chance because, you right. know, people, you know, may not go through with what Correct. they said. But Correct. thankfully they did. Now we're stocked in probably more hotel spas than any other nutrition brand. We're in the likes of Atlantis Royal, Atlantis Palm, Mandarin, yeah. Syro, Hilton and more. Yeah. We're in Bencina, Holland and Barrett. And we've just signed agree an agreement, multi-year agreement with uh, Fitness First okay. to be stocked in their studios throughout the UAE. Brilliant. So literally in 12 months, I've mm -hmm. manifested a whole business out here. It's amazing. And I feel like very few places in the world where you can do that. Mm, fantastic. And then wh where can we, where can we we follow you or keep track of all this amazing stuff you're doing man yeah so you can follow the brand first of all you go to our website it's live l-i-v-e innermost mm -hmm. i-n-n-e-r-m-o-s-d live innermost.com the social channels also live innermost mm -hmm. uh, you can find me as well on linkedin shivraj bassi mm -hmm. or on uh, socials shiv underscore bassi yeah wicked man uh, and now now that we're, we've we've finished the the halftime show where's the whistle hold on yeah, there's the whistle for the full time uh, whistle. Um, how has your experience been? Because you said you came into I couldn't believe that it's your first time. Is this really your first time on radio? This is my first time on radio, yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> Just showing off now. <laughs> Making us look bad, though. Uh, no, thank you so much for coming on, man. Yeah. Been a wicked guest. Um, I've really enjoyed having you on, and I hope you have too. No pressure. It's been, it's been amazing. Thank you so much, yeah. Mm -hmm. You catch every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, 3 to 4 uh, UAE time. By the way, uh, Florin is saying, definitely sounds like someone we know, and I, I love his story so that, that's that's regarding that yeah, um that. mom <laughs> must say she's really enjoying the show <laughs> my wife is currently in nepal at the moment but even she's enjoying but it so hey listen if your mom likes the show i'm happy yeah. there we go there we go she'll be very happy with that comment as well um thank you very much guys for for tuning in coming up next is i shall mas me but you can catch me on wednesday on wednesday i'm gonna have x match city player nadim anua is going to be on the show we're talking all manchester city and a little bit of Arsenal, mum, just for you <laughs> on the show. But thank you again for coming on the show, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Full time. Take care, guys. Stay blessed. And I'll see you soon.